What's happening, DC and D reacts? How we doing? How we doing? Well, it's been a little while since I caught back up with this. We're back with old Freckles. Freckles. Billy Burr. The Ginger Ninja. I hope he hears that. That's quite funny. I need to write into him and go, hey Ginger Ninja. Or Freckles. So yeah. Last one, the first one I done, and the last one I also done. Uh he was talking about his dog. I said, I need to find out what happened about the dog. And you did say in the comments, I must definitely check it out and do a reaction to it. So, here we are, at last, getting to it. To old Billy Burr. Love this guy. Love him, his temper. Hey. He's Monday night, he's Monday and early Thursday, whatever, podcasts. When you hear the joy in his voice when he speaks about his kids, is is good i love it and oh my god i can laugh at work got my earphones in and then he's when he does his ah! doing all his screaming and oh my god i can pee myself laughing and then i must concentrate on what i'm doing but you know you need to entertain yourself if you're bored so yeah i think this is dog and his temper Bulber. So hopefully this is the right one. I clicked on the other one just now and I see he actually got rid of the dog. I was like, oh. But his wife was pregnant with his daughter. So, and apparently he was a psycho. So yeah, let's go. Let's have a good little laugh. <clears throat> and uh, hope you enjoy. We've just touched 4,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. I probably should stop saying thank you, but thank you again. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, and yeah, I want to do a bit more uh, Bulbo reactions. I do enjoy him very much. I like his life advice. Well, I really do enjoy him. He's, he seems to be a, a stand-up bloke character. And yeah, let's get to old Billy Burr. Uh, I'm looking for the space ball, which is this big square thing right here in front of me. Never understood that, you know. I love my dog, but uh, I've learned a lot being a dog owner, man. You know, any dog's a good dog unless you're a psycho. You know, I got a pit bull. It's still a great dog unless you're a fucking psycho. And evidently, I'm a psycho because my dog has been a, just been a complete maniac over the last like six months. You know, I didn't realize that dogs feed off your vibes. You know, like if you're chilling, they're chilling. You know, if you're sleeping, they're sleeping. But if you're a psycho like me and you're screaming at the ref on TV being like, dude, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I didn't realize the dog was over in the corner being like, yeah, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I can just imagine Bobo watching a football game or a baseball game or a basketball game. He's very into his sports and he knows his shit. I can imagine sitting there. I wouldn't even be watching the game. I'd be sitting watching him like that because I think it would be more entertaining to watch how he reacts to them on the TV. I think it would be hilarious. I didn't realize the dog was over in the corner being like, yeah, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> this is bullshit. I don't know what this guy's mad at, but I love this guy. This guy feeds me. Is it the door? Are you mad at the door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had no idea I was amping this dog up. I was so selfishly in my own world. I'd be like on the computer and would crash. And be like, oh, really? Really? Dog's over in the corner with like a chew toy. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed like that game seven look she was getting on her face. And one day I amped her up too much, had no clue. And I went outside, we were just walking down the street and some poor bastard comes the other way and the dog's like, that's that motherfucker. <laughs> Lunge at this guy, I had to pull her back. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. She's never done anything like that. Right? Oh, can you just imagine? Uh, must be hilarious. I don't know, I've had a few dogs in my life. I don't know, they've been, oh, I'm not a psycho like Bo. Let's put it that way. Maybe that's why my dogs didn't go absolutely nutter. Lunge at this guy, I had to pull her back. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. She's never done anything like that, right? Looking down at the dog, what's wrong with you? Dog's looking up at me like, huh? I got that son of a bitch, didn't I? I love you, you feed me, I got you. How the hell did you see him that far away, man? Your ears must be better than mine. It's unbelievable, <laughs> right? Then I got nervous. I got nervous around my own dog. 
I started thinking, fuck, are pit bulls really like this? Do they just go psycho? Man, this is nuts, right? That's another bad vibe to have around your dog because they pick up on that vibe, right? This dude comes walking down the street and I immediately just start thinking like, oh shit, is she gonna do it again? Oh shit, oh shit. Dog just looks at me like, oh shit, what? Oh shit, what? Him, 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 ah! Runs at another guy. <laughs> Gotta pull her back, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Looking down at the dog, dog's trying to chest bump me and shit, right? <laughs> Dude, it got so bad one day, she almost, she almost ate a landscaper, right? Yeah, so I'm like, I gotta, I gotta take this thing to a trainer, man. So I load it up in the Prius, and I drive over there, right? Can you imagine Bill Burr in a Prius? He likes your old school stuff. I mean, he's got, he's got an old, what, 65, 67 pickup truck? And I think the only thing he added as comfort was power steering. Like, wow. Can't see him in a Prius. Hopefully he's got rid of that. Hopefully. A trainer, man. So I load it up in the Prius, and I drive over there, right? Yeah, I have a Prius. Go ahead, judge me. <laughs> I love that shit. If you have a Prius, people, you know, you can't win. You got a truck with a big lift kit, people, oh, it's fine because he has a little dick. Right? How come it's not because he has there's a dick down to the floor? Maybe that's why he needs all that clearance, right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> if that means you have a little dick, then if, if I have a Prius, doesn't that mean I, I have a huge dick, right? Because according to my friends, it means I'm a fag. Right? <laughs> Anyways. Let me towel off here for a moment. So I fucking take this dog down to this trainer, right? And I show up, got the dog in the back. Trainer comes out, he's got his hat on backwards, he got stubble, you know? Big, large cargo pants, you know? All shorts on and stuff. And I'm thinking, this guy's a psycho, right? And I look at my dog, my dog's like sizing him up. I'm like, this is perfect, he can handle him. So the guy goes, all right, when you hand this dog to me, make sure you got the leash totally taut like that, all right? Don't have any slack in it. I said, no problem, right? And somehow I fucked up, I left a little slack in it, and this dog just lunged right at the dude's balls, all right? <laughs> and just barely missed him and just got a big mouthful of his big cargo shorts, right? And immediately he just grabs and goes, all right, get out of here, get out of here, right? But instinctually, I tried to help out and he just goes, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that the only reason why the dog was acting like that was because I was there and it felt like it needed to protect me. So the second I left, the situation immediately just became awkward, right? The dog was just sitting there like, Okay, like, I thought we were, like, together, and we were, like, friends, and you were some bad guy, and all of a sudden you just drove away, and I don't know how to feed myself. You want to be friends? <laughs> yeah, I come back four days later, the dog's laying at the guy's feet, all right? He's rubbing her belly, she's reaching up, playing with his goatee and shit. <laughs> and he goes, go ahead, have a, have a seat. Why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, take me through your day with this dog? Immediately, I started getting, like, this first 48 vibe, right? <laughs> Like they're coming at me. So I got like defensive. I'm like, what do you mean? I take it for a hike every morning. He goes, that's good, that's good. Anything, you know, special happen on the hike? I'm like, well, you know, I don't know. She takes a shit. I pick it up. <laughs> I don't know, she takes a shit, pick it up. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? Special happen on the hike? I'm like, well, you know, I don't know. She takes a shit. I pick it up. It's like, all right, easy. <laughs> You play any games with her? I go, yeah, at the end of the hike. I let her, I let her, you know, for reward for going on the hike, I let her run up the stairs by herself. I go, go on, Cleo. I let her run up the stairs, and I count five, 1,000, and then I run up there, and then we start wrestling. Put her in a headlock, sweep her front legs, ah, right? But her tail's wagging, you know? She's not growling. I go, that's a good thing, right? He's like, no, it's fucking horrible. I'm like, why? He goes, you just taught your dog to claim the house and then fight for it every fucking day after the hike. <laughs> No wonder this thing's trying to attack the mailman, you know? So then I got upset. I'm like, wait a minute, dude, you're telling me like I can't even play with my dog? He's like, no, you can play with it, but you gotta bring that energy back down. The problem is, is you keep amping this thing up, getting that Mike Singletary look on his face. Then by the time you walk out, doesn't matter if you're relaxed, mentally the dog is like walking through the tunnel at the Rose Bowl, like this is what we play for. <laughs> somebody hit somebody. Yeah, so I'm actually learning to control my temper because of a fucking pit bull. Ah, okay. That was good. That was really good. That was, that was good. That was, that was so funny as well. Holy shit. 
Right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. Uh, yeah. Be seeing you soon. Like I say, thank you again for the 4,000 subscribers. Welcome to the channel. If you're new and you're busy watching this, if you want to, it's your choice. It's your choice. If you want to. Smash that subscribe button if you like and give me a thumbs up. Would appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you soon. Peace out, YouTube.